guys. Um, today I'm driving a Kawasaki Versys 1000. Apparently they double booked my Tsugomi for a press conference. Well, the test Tsugomi I was using, that is. So I had to trade it in for this demo versus 1000 until mine's arriving, which is still in the Netherlands waiting for, uh, I don't know, it was something about billing. Anyway, I have to say this bike, this motorcycle, it drives pretty good. It's soft, you're out of the wind. It's not for playing around like you do with the Sagomi, although this bike should not be underestimated if you want to... Uh, let's see what it, how it does on bumpy roads. Let's see. We're gonna take a bumpy road with this. I know the Sagomi is a pain in the ass on bumpy roads, as in the little uh, shift. Uh, the little, uh, we call them Kinderkopjes child heads because they're small rounded little <coughs> yeah they look like little baby heads kind of and if you drive over those with the Sugomi then especially the passenger will be having a hard time keeping his ass without bruises but yeah this uh, versus cool bike it's not it's not my taste kind of taste although I have to say it's a cool bike it's not cool looking I mean cool as in you're out of the wind, it drives really soft. Uh, my son is driving with me right now, you can't see him because he's really small. But yeah, he's there. Here we go, bumpy road. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. That's really sweet! Oh god! Oh! Oh my heavens lord! Oh! Oh I'm sorry, I'm, this is like... Oh man! This is awesome! Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shut up and enjoy this for a little bit. Even these plateau thingies, they are like, they're nothing. They're just, you, you go over them without having any pain in the back or butt issues. <coughs> yeah, this is great. driving 40 50 because there's some traffic and some people don't really know the size of their car so they're driving a little bit too close to me like that guy oh thank you he is moving but yeah this bumpy road it's it's pretty going going pretty well it's not that I don't feel them, it's just they're, they're a lot softer. That was shit. See, I'm out of habit, I'm like preparing for the bump, but I don't need to because the bump doesn't feel that high anymore. And this is a bike where you can relax and drive on. Yeah, I have the feeling instantly when I sit on this, it's to relax. 
it's not the cruise although you can drive really fast with this it's not really I'm not saying it's not made to be made for going fast because it is made for going fast but it's also made more for comfort and as you can see except for the shifting I'm kind of already a bit used to this bike which is a good thing I would say <laughs> forest road this is awesome this is really awesome This is a bike where you can like put your arms open, sit backwards and relax, enjoy the drive. Console is pretty, how you say it, you can see everything, you don't have to look down, you just have to use your eyes to look down a bit. off-road capabilities will be better than with a Sagomi if you just make sure your tires are, tires are okay. See, <laughs> it does go fast. <laughs> You don't even have to try, you don't feel it like with the Sigomi. I'm just uh, curious about uh, mileage. That is a big bike that I have to say I can barely touch the ground with my feet. There we go. See, nice little windscreen. <laughs> I stayed out of the wind. I'm doing 90 and I don't even... I don't even feel it. My son was asking about the nice car we saw, the Audi. He thought it was a nice car. He likes blue. He likes that color. I don't really like that color, although it was a nice car, I have to admit. 